See my face? Do I look happy? That's the price of being a model sometimes. This is your boy, Let's Go B. Jones, and what you just saw was me freezing to death in ice cold water. I had to do this commercial for this like ice fishing competition. And man, it was cold. I almost froze to death. First, I wanna say I enjoyed the experience. Everything was awesome. It was great. I enjoyed it. But tell me why the one manager guy who's like my coordinator guy, he cool. Um, we start the shoot at the airport and I'm supposed to be some like pop star guy. Got my nice leather jacket on and sunglasses and I'm a baller. I'm swagging all day. I got my piercings on. I look, I look swag. Then we go to the festival and I don't know, I think my, my person forgot their jacket and then later I get a jacket, right? So, but let me tell y'all, it was so cold. They got me outside just in a thin, 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 thin jacket. And I say thin, I can, I can show you the jacket. Let me show y'all the jacket. Let me get the jacket. They had me in this. This is my jacket. I'm freezing. I just came back from Japan. I'm in, I'm in this thin little jacket, okay? So everything's cool. And then they loaned me a jacket, an Eider jacket, probably one of the best jackets I've had in my life. I like the jacket so much, I went out and bought me a jacket myself. Best $220 I spent. I'm gonna show you all this jacket. The warmest jacket in my life. Eider, I love you. If you see this commercial, if you see this video, Eider, send me some socks. Send me some, some thermal wear. Send me anything, cause I love y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this jacket. Okay, so the one that I used in the video was like beige one, but I had to go get this black one. A little bit different, it's a little different. A little cheaper, cause I ain't got that much money. But anyway, let me tell y'all what happened next. We doing the, the commercial, everything's cool. I'm sledding, I'm skiing, I'm bobsledding. I'm doing everything, I'm fishing, cool. Always, everything is good. Tell me why. A manager guy, the guy that's in charge of me for the shoot. First, it was a two day shoot. The first day he goes, by the way, man, you gotta go swimming. What? And he showed me a video of some Korean guy in a big pool of ice water with all these other people catching fish. And I bust out laughing at this guy. Ha! You got jokes, bruh. <laughs> that line that I just said is actually one of my lines in a Korean movie. <laughs> you got jokes, bruh. Woo! But no, real talk. I'm thinking he's joking. So the next day, the director comes out, the director of the festival, he comes out, and they're like, nah, bro, you you really gotta go swimming. Y'all trying to kill me? You see, we ain't built for cold. I ain't built for cold. So anyway, I do my, my sled and whatever we gotta do, and then we gotta go to this big ice pond. I go to the ice pond, I go and switch my clothes, and I said, screw this, I'm wearing my jacket, everybody else is outside shivering, I got my big old winter jacket on, and they're like, yeah, keep your jacket on, we're getting the camera set up. So then it's time to get into this pool, you guys. Everybody jump in this pool. We gotta sit by the thing. They got some Koreans that were dating each other, playing in the water, like dunking each other. Not me, not me. So then it's our time to jump in the water. I jump in this water and oh my gosh, you guys, I have never felt so much cold in my life. I can't describe it like, I'll put it this way. My body felt very different. Pieces of my body were missing. That's how cold it was. I ain't feel anything no more, okay? I jump in this water and they're like, Brandon, okay, you gotta walk around and pretend you're looking for the fish and then you gotta catch the fish. And I go, what fish? There ain't no fish in this pool. They throw me a fish. So I'm dumping in the water and they say do it again I dump in the water do it again Are you kidding me and now they telling me kiss the fish and I'm like kiss the fish I don't want to kiss this slimy fish man Man before they had me do a shoot and I put a fish on the little hook and I pull it out and the fish was alive and the, the fish is wibbling wobbling 
and I gotta hold the fish and the fish is in my hand like this and jumping and now they telling me to kiss the fish bruh really so then I I see the manager guy and he going he waving me like this and I'm thinking the man telling me to get out the pool so I said screw this I'm out I bust out the pool real quick I, I hopscotched out that joint and I ran up to the little jacuzzi and I warm up so tell me why this man come over me he goes Brandon why'd you get out so soon you telling me to come out and he's like no I'm telling you to do it again really I don't know my brain ain't working I'm frozen to death so this man tell me man Why'd you come out so soon? We can't even use the footage. It was too short. I said, what? You can't use the footage? So I'm thinking they gonna make me go back in this again. I was about to, woo, woo, not me. But I don't know. I looked at the brochure later and they were saying that it was like a maximum of five minutes you had to be in this thing. Like, If I knew that it was supposed to be five minutes tops, I would have stuck it out. But I thought I had to be in this thing for like 15 minutes. And I ain't about that life. My toes going numb. My fingers going numb, my body going numb, plus I didn't want to get my hair wet, okay? But yeah, the moral of the story is you guys, I almost froze to death doing a model shoot and I also bought the warmest jacket of my life and Korea is very, 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 very cold, okay? It's, it's too cold here. Alright you guys, you know what to do, like, sub, share, please, and... Fighting.